So, unless you've been living under a rock all day, Alexis Sanchez has melted Twitter today. He's melted Instagram. The whole world is fucking slagging him off. Um, he's ill. And everyone now thinks he's trying to get out of Arsenal. Well, let me say something. Alexi Sanchez has been in Chile. He got back this week. If you go and check the weather in Chile right now, it's one degree. One. That's cold. The weather right now at 12.48 on a Friday is 22 degrees where I'm sat. So there is a good chance that he is ill. Obviously coming from cold weather to warm weather, there's a bloody good chance he is ill. Arsenal have already said that he's going to be back in training on Sunday. So before everyone has their meltdown and calls him a snake and says he's a money grabber and he's a wanker and all the other names they use, yeah, let's wait and see if he turns up for training on Sunday. Because I find it unbelievable the amount of abuse this guy's getting. Unbelievable. This guy has scored 72 goals for Arsenal in three seasons. That's one third of what Thierry Henry scored. And people are slagging this guy off. He's our best player by a country mile. And what I find even more funny is the fact that Mesut Ozil and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain get a pass. Why? Why does Ozil get a pass? Why is the Ox getting a pass? They've both done exactly the same as Alexi Sanchez this summer, and that's not renew their contract. They're both differing the same as Sanchez. There's reports coming out that they want more money, that they want this, they want that. Yeah? You know, the way I see it is, all three of them have taken the piss. All three of them. But only one of them's getting abuse for it. Now, I'm not saying all three of them should get abuse for it. What I'm trying to say is that you can't call Sanchez a snake and a money-grabbing bastard and this and that when Ozil and Oxlade-Chamberlain are doing exactly the same. And you, you're not calling them that. I just I find it unbelievable. At the end of the day, Mesut Ozil is not worthy of a pay rise based on his last season. Last season, he was shit. End of story. He was shit. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain has had six good months in about six years. Maybe that's not his fault. Maybe he's been used here, there and everywhere. Five, six positions. Never had a set run of games in the team in a certain position. So, yeah, fair enough. I can see maybe why the Ox does want to leave. I can get that. I totally accept that. But he's come out and said nothing. And everyone's just going, oh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll sweep him under the carpet. Mesut Ozil is very clever in what he does. Mesut Ozil is a brand on his own. Without Arsenal Football Club, Mesut Ozil is a brand on his own. You've only got to go and check his social media accounts to see how many followers this guy has got. He's got his own clothing range. He's got absolutely everything flooding towards him. Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, he's got 7 million followers more than Arsenal Football Club. So Mesut Ozil is very clever. He'll come out and he'll say, I want to say, stay at Arsenal. I want to play for the club. I respect Arsene Wenger. Because do you know what? That's exactly what all the fans want to hear. And that's fantastic. That's great. But the reality is, he still ain't fucking signed a new deal. So if he wanted to stay at Arsenal that much, why the fuck ain't he signed it? Can anyone answer that? But because it's Ozil, he gets a pass. Alexis Sanchez, on the other hand, comes out and says he wants to play Champions League football. He wants to win the Champions League. Alexis Sanchez isn't a brand. Alexis Sanchez has got... 2.2 million followers on Twitter. That's 8 million less than Arsenal. So when Sanchez comes out and says he wants to win the Champions League, Arsenal fans see that as a dig at Arsenal. Well, let me spin it like this. If Mesut Ozil had come out and said that, Arsenal fans would be coming out saying, Arsenal have let Ozil down. Instead, because it's Sanchez saying it, he's a snake. Fucking hell, come on people, really? At the end of the day, I just don't get the hate for the guy. He's our best player. He's the best player we've had for a decade. What is the issue? All three of them have done the same shit all summer. None of them have signed a deal. So, why hate only one of them? Why abuse only one of them? Anyway, that's my rambling over. Um, let me know what you guys think. In my opinion, I personally think all three of them are stay. But, they're all playing the game. Anyway, 
If you haven't subscribed already, smash the subscribe button. Where the fuck have you been? Um, smash the like button as well while you're at it. Absolutely annihilate the like button. And leave your comments down below. I'll try and reply to as many as I can. Thanks very much, people. You all have a wonderful weekend.